Hey YouTube, this is a tutorial on how to make a, a console application that can get input and output from the console in Visual C Sharp. Uh, first, you gotta open up Visual C Sharp um, Express Edition, or we gotta open up Visual Studio 2008 and then open Visual C Sharp in that. Okay. First, let's create a project. Name it input output. Then press enter to make it. I right, here you have all your um your namespace and your class and your main static void. And the main static void. That's where we're gonna write all the code. First, I'm gonna wrap it in. Try what the first thing I'm gonna I. First, I'm gonna wrap it and try catch um, braces. This is the handle errors if there are any. Okay, first we got now let's um, declare int. We need to declare two ints: part int whole, and um, then we're going to make a string in input. If you never declared a variable in C sharp, um, declaring it is you just put the type of variable before the name of the variable. So let's say we want a string and then you put string and then in this we name an input. Uh, let's enter that. <laughs> uh, and then we put console dot read read line okay and we gotta make sure we put input equals console dot read line and then we need to convert that and this is where the hole comes in we need to convert it to an n32 and for that we'll use the convert class alright let's put hole equals convert dot to int 32 then we put in parentheses the name of that variable which is input and then a semicolon to go to the next line and now we'll use our while loop while parentheses open part is less than whole when see closed brace brace and now let's set a default for part and whole oh wait one second nope wait one second part equals zero whole equals ten those are the defaults of the variable. Part is going to be zero, so if the user doesn't input anything, it will be ten, I think. But I don't know. And right, now we put console console dot write line um part semicolon part plus plus semicolon the part plus plus is c sharp syntax for just adding one and and let's and that's the end of our while loop and now what it does is if you just ended it at that it would um <coughs> you know, all so all every time the number would come out one less than you put in I uh, let's let's fix that part plus plus console dot right line part this fixes that okay and that is it I'm pretty sure and then for the catch statement console dot right line the most likely error on this is that they would put in an invalid character instead of a number when they, how much they wanted to um, 
type okay let's put that did you put in a letter symbol instead of a number console oh crap <coughs> Pro program ending on next stroke of the enter key. Then let's put a console. Wait one second. Console dot read line. Parenthesis, parenthesis, semicolon. Now this should, you put in a number, and then it will, oh wait, one second. Console dot right line, put in a num number. And now it should. <laughs> Okay, that should work. And now let's debug it and see if it does what we think it will. And it counts to 10,000. Wait, we gotta reverse on real quick. Uh, there we go. Now let's count to 100,000. Pretty fast. Kind of. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot. And you gotta make sure you put read line so it won't end until you press enter. And let's just count to 10. Boom. Now, if, when you press enter, the program ends. That is input and output from the console. And to save it, let's, let's just save it to my desktop so I can delete it easily. Save it to your desktop and say, and I'll show you how to get the finished exe. Save. And now let's debug it one more time. And now let's build the solution. Okay, and now we can exit out of this. Let's go to input output. You'll need to go to input output, the bin file, release, and here's your exe. The type is an application if you have Windows 7. I'm not sure what else you have a different. Okay, there it is. And the title of it will be the um, directory of where it is. So let's put in 10,000 and boom. 10,000. And there you go. Rate, comment, and subscribe.